everybody doing? Today we're here for episode three of Box Talk, but we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, we've been in this open tag here about your favorite uh, folding knife, your favorite mid-size fixed, and then your favorite large fixed. Now I was tagged in this video initially I think by Frank over at What's the Point EDC. It actually got started by Peter Built um, Knife Guy. So I think he had uh, nominated Frank and then tagged him in the video, then Frank had tagged me, and in the course of that time, I've also been tagged by the Saw Grunt and the Singing Toad. So I thought I need to go on here, reshoot this video, give thanks to everybody, and also I forgot to even mention who I was tagging in the video, so I need to reshoot the whole thing and, and just start from scratch, so that's what we're going to do today. Um, so um, again, thank you Frank, thank you Saw Grunt, thank you Singing Toad. And thank you Peterbilt Knife Guy for even starting this. But we're going to start with our favorite folding knife. Now my favorite folding knife everybody knows by now should be the Pair 3. Guys, I just love this blade. It kind of uh, really can get a lot of work done for a small 3-incher. It, uh, it is more of a heavier, dutier knife. It has steel liners inset in there and a G10. Um, we got S45 VN blade steel. And it's made in Golden, Colorado, uh, Earth, USA Earth, it says on there. So, so if you guys can see that. But this right here is kind of my favorite folder. I, I really love this knife. I love how it feels in your hand. I love the forward finger choil on it. I love the ramp on the back. I love the flat grind. Um, it's slicey, it's dicey, and can just get a lot of work done. Now, this is my favorite knife uh, when I'm doing a lot of things, so especially when I'm fishing, I put the little lanyard on there. I have it in my pocket. I'm usually waiting up and down the river. I can just grab that lanyard and pull that knife right out of there. And it, it doesn't come out of my pocket either when I'm waiting. I did put the uh, Lynch Northwest um, deep pocket carry clip on there. This is, I believe, bronze anodized. So if you're looking to get one of these, I believe that is the, uh, the collar of that off of Lynch Northwest. Um, and also, I think I bought the same one, the same style in the same one also for my crew card of pair too but this right here is my favorite folding knife if i'm going anywhere and i need something uh reliable something i can trust this right here is usually what i have on me um now as far as my favorite mid-size fixed blade everyone should know that what that is as well it is the bark river gunny uh, this right here is my favorite knife it is in the a2 blade steel I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't know if how. Oh, there we go. The light's hitting it. So it's in the A2 blade steel. It does have a full flat grind. The knife came with a saber grind on it and a ramp on the back of it. I sent it in. I had the ramp removed and I had the full height flat grind put on this blade. Um, the reason being because I was uh, butchering a lot of whitetail and you know we'll buy half a hog and this thing just works perfect for that. And when, you know, especially with this flat grind on, I figure I need a knife that I can hold in my hand. It feels good. You know, getting around shoulder joints. You're, you're, you know, you're just, you're just in there digging around, and and you need something. You know, especially with a full tang construction. Got my Carta handle scales. Easy to clean, easy to use, and and trusted. You know, this A2's got a great heat treat on it, so I can, you know, I've used it since I've got it back and just had to strop it and it just comes right back to it'll race through some paper just from some light stropping since i've got it back from bark river and if this one ever fails on me um i got an old trusty backup i got another one right here this is a gunny but it's in the 3v same knife it does have red liners um i've never used this knife it does have the saber grind on it it, it i did get it rampless um so yeah order this to match a bravo one i have so this is just a little backup action in case you need, uh, in case your A2 fails on you, you know, you get the 3V as a backup. Now, let's get on to our large fixed blade. Some we're going to use to chop. Some we're going to use to really take some stuff out. Now, I don't have a large chopper knife, so I told Frank in, in his uh, comments, I was like, you know, I don't have a large chopping knife, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to think of something fun outside the box. And uh, what I come up with, <laughs> how many people have a hatchet? Well, I got one. I got plenty. Um, if you guys ever see some videos on my workshop out in the garage, I do like to rehandle axes and kind of bring some old ones back to life. If you look at the patina on this, I bought this set at a flea market and it looked like it had just been laying in some mud for probably a couple years. So I got it, cleaned it up. I, I really didn't file 
file the back of it or anything. I kind of liked how it looked. I did. There was some mushrooming right here. I filed down a little bit, but honestly, you just need to clean up and a handle put on it. And I went to Royal King. I bought a handle, rehandled it. You know, put some boiled linseed oil on it, and uh, works good. So I can chop with this, Frank. Um, it, it works really well, and I have plenty more out there. And uh, you know, say you're needing to take down something that's yay big around. Say you got a car over a hill or something, and you need to winch that car back up, and you got maybe some smaller trees, saplings in the way. Get this, and if 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 you're chopping, if your chopping ain't working, you know, say your chopper breaks. You know, you're you, you break the handle off of your 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 hatchet there or axe or whatever you're using. I'll just go with an old silky saw. So this is the Gom Boy. This is the uh, 210. I love this thing. So between these two things right here, I cut I cut big things all day long. <laughs> so I do need to get me a large chopper. I enjoy watching the content of the guys that have the larger knives. I'm more of a traditional style knife guy I don't I wouldn't call myself really a collect you know I collect knives but I don't have a real big collection um, but I just uh, you know I need to get me a big chopper knife Frank and and, and Sog and Sing and Toad and whoever else has tagged me in this I'm sure there's others but this is what I'm going with this is my large chopper uh, where's my A2 A2 gunny for my mid-size fixed and then uh, the pair of three and s45 three uh s45 vn still for my for my folder so between all this i think we'll be fine wherever we're going i think we'll be able to get out of a jam so now i need to tag some people um first person you guys know who i'm going to tag is boston blade reviews he's my partner in crime for happy hour live chat um second i'm going to uh, tag doom crew outdoors um we've become very close uh probably talk to each other every day uh, regarding knives and whatever we're kind of doing and a third guy I want to think outside the box and bring more people in who who may not have as many I don't have a lot of subs by no means but there's a guy who I enjoy watching his content last chance knives um, I, I really enjoy what he does he, he fabricates his own knives out of 01 tool steel um, had, you know can fix traditional blades uh, off centering a uh, little blade play he can he can take care of that I, I do know a little bit about him so I you know I'll just keep that uh, you know it, he's he's communicated with me on email and I, I'm really liking what he's doing so and he was on Tom uh, Knife Delight's uh, channel chat there uh, I think two weeks ago so be sure you go watch that and check out his content and guys, happy hour live chat. Last week we had Thrifty Kniffy on. He blew it up for us. It was a great time having him on. And this this weekend it's just going to be Boston and myself again, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. Be sure to set the notification bell and check that out. We're usually doing some type of giveaway or something on there. So, you know, I think we've done a giveaway since we've had Knife Delights on. So I always try to pick up something small to send out. So this video is going to come out tomorrow at Wednesday. And I've got my stickers coming in. Should be here tomorrow, so I'll get Ben Benjamin's prize out to him. Benjamin Baker won on last weekend. I got his knife, and uh, I want to throw some decals. I don't like sending stuff without decals, so I did order some two weeks ago, and they're supposed to be here tomorrow. So, guys, hey, remember, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget, I've tagged Doom Crew, Boston Blade Reviews, Last Chance Knives. Let's see what you guys got and what you guys uh, want to show everybody. I want to thank Frank. I want to thank Peter Belt Knife Guy for even getting us started. Uh, uh, and Frank's channel name, What's the Point EDC. The Singing Toad, thank you for tagging me. The Saw Grunt, thank you for tagging me. I, I, I greatly appreciate it. So guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Stay sharp, stay strong. Check out Happy Hour Live Chat.